Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the ISA or Issa Brown chicken breed and everything you need to know. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also make sure you subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description below, you'll receive a free book on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the ISA Brown chicken breed is a fairly recent introduction to the poultry world and is a very popular girl. She can lay lots of beautiful eggs for you and has a great personality. They are medium-sized, affectionate, docile hens that are suited to family living. The usefulness of the breed cannot be denied. Such a high egg output is hard to argue when you compare to heritage chickens that are more modest in their output. In today's video, we're going to go through everything. We're going to talk about their history, appearance, temperament, egg laying capability, and finally, if they're the right breed for you. So let's start off with their history and background. The ISA Brown is a fairly recently developed hybrid breed designed by a man to lay eggs. Originally developed in France around 1978, the ISA stands for Institut de Selection Animale, or Animale, if you want to pronounce it like an American. Probably not how you pronounce it, but in 1997, the Institute was merged with Merck and Co., and the breed then became the Hubbard ISA. The company has since merged again multiple times and is now part of the group Grimald La Corbière SA. Their exact genetic makeup is a closely guarded trade secret, but speculation has been pointed at the Rhode Island red and white breeds with input from white leghorns. What other breeds may be involved is a mystery. Now let's talk about the standard and appearance of the ISA brown chicken. As this is a hybrid bird, there is no standard of perfection in place from the American Poultry Association or any other club or association. The hen is however copyrighted and you cannot call your lookalike chickens ISA browns or sell them as such. If you desire to show your ISA brown at the local poultry show, nothing to stop you from doing so, but it will not be accepted in the larger, more prestigious shows. Let's talk about the appearance. At a quick glance, you could be forgiven for mistaking them for Rhode Island Reds. When you look more closely, you'll notice their red brown is lighter in shade, more of a light chestnut brown. The ISA brown is a medium-sized bird with a rectangular body and a slight dip to the back. The tail is held upright. They occasionally have some white tail feathers. The comb and wattles are red in color, with the comb being single and upright. Eyes range from a yellow to a bay red color. They're classified as small to medium hens weighing around five pounds. As far as the breeding goes, they will not breed true. Whatever chicks you get trying to breed, it's not likely to live up to its parents' abilities. It has been noted that offspring are highly prone to suffer from kidney ailments, so they aren't the healthiest of chicks. So it's probably better not to try to breed them for yourselves. ISAs come from a white rooster over a red hen. Therefore, they are a sex-linked chicken, meaning chicks at birth can be immediately sexed. White chicks are boys, tan chicks are girls. As far as the temperament and disposition, the ISA Brown is a friendly, sweet bird. They are fairly quiet. They suit the backyard living well. They are known to be affectionate with their owners and enjoy being held and cuddled, often jumping into your lap unannounced to enjoy some affection and treats. ISAs stand confinement very well, but foraging for bugs and other tasty morsels is also something they really enjoy. Now, let's talk about their egg laying ability. These hardworking girls can lay in excess of 300 large brown eggs per year. They barely pause for the molt and get right back to it, making them one of the best breeds for egg laying around. Since they work so hard using all the protein and calcium available in their small bodies, it's wise to feed them a slightly higher protein base and make sure they have an oyster shell available at all times. They rarely go broody. They have been bred not to, but occasionally you'll get a broody girl and they will sit well and make great moms. So now let's dive into the common health issues. They have been engineered to lay eggs and that has come to a profusion of ailments when they live to be over two years old. The bird can lay 300 plus eggs each year and is not going to live into a healthy old age. It's usual in the commercial world to cull chickens after their second year as their egg production does drop noticeably here. It is at this point they are considered spent and sent for slaughter. Thanks to the work of the British Hen Welfare Trust and other such organizations worldwide, many of these hens are rescued and go to live with ordinary people like the rest of us for the rest of their lives. Although their best egg laying years may be behind them, they will still lay eggs for you, just not as prolifically. And they will bless you with affection and presence when hens are bred to lay eggs. In such huge quantities, they will often suffer from reproductive tract issues such as prolapse, tumors, and cancers. They can also suffer from kidney problems like I said before. So is the ISA brown chicken the right bird for you? 
The ISA Brown is a great starter chicken as they are very low maintenance, so they're ideal for those just starting their chicken addiction. They are suited to family life as they are affectionate and non-aggressive hens. They certainly love to be held, which makes them an ideal chicken for kids. Their egg production is unmatched. They will lay you lots of eggs, perhaps too many if you are a small family, but then you can always give them away or perhaps sell your excess. They are winter hardy and tolerate heat fairly well, although shade and water should of course be provided during the summer. ISA Browns can tolerate a wide variety of climates. ISAs are very popular in Australia and the US. The ISA was bred to last about two years. However, in a good caring environment, they can live up to eight years at the most. So between five and eight years. To summarize, they're certainly a prolific layer of large brown eggs and they are a working girl. As always, the high egg yield is detrimental to the long-term health. Like I said, they're one of several breeds developed for high egg yield at the expense of longevity. If you need a hen to do that, it'll be suitable for the job. Just make sure you take good care of them and they'll live a long life. Do you keep ISAs? Let us know your experience with them in the comment section below. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you like our content, if you learn something new, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.